<clears throat> Good morning, y'all. This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just woke When I tell you I just woke up, girl, I could barely brush my teeth and wash my face. So the streets are talking. Hello? TMZ releasing footages. Hello? Girl, y'all homeboy, Quavo, he out here slanging sweetie all up and through an elevator. Baby, the girls, they love fighting in elevators, huh? First, it was y'all homegirl, uh, uh, Solange, whooping all up on Jay-Z. And now, now, now it's Quavo. Now, I don't want to play the video because I don't want to play with TMZ. <laughs> and they get my video took down. Because, girl, hello. Because <laughs> they will. They will get, give your girl a strike. So, I'm not going to play the video. But I will definitely put the link to TMZ so you can go and watch the video yourself. It's only like a minute, over a minute. There's no audio, just the footage. Um, the footage with no audio. Um, but it's a mess. Like, I'm sure we're gonna be talking about this for the next few days. Um, Lil Nas X, you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> girl, they say you after three days, girl. They say you after three days. That's when we started talking about something else. A little Nas X, you in the clear, girl. <laughs> we, they, not gonna, they ain't worried about you no more. Um, so I'm sure that we'll continue to talk about this story because um, there's a good chance that more information will come out um, about what happened um, in uh, Elevator Gate 2021. Um, the only thing that you can see, again, uh, I'm not going to post a video because I don't want to get in trouble with uh, these, these two people at TMZ. But the only thing that you can really see is um, Sweetie swings at Quavo. And Quavo misses, this, uh, misses, a, misses the hit. And he manages to get her and he slings her into the elevator. Now, clearly, he must have swung her um, with some type of girl force because she sat on the ground. Um, until it was time for them to get out of the elevator. Um, this nigga gonna have the nerves to look up at the camera. Yeah, girl. She caught you. She caught you, Quavo. You looking up at the camera like, girl, yeah, she caught you. She caught you. We gonna see. <laughs> girl, this is my thing, right? Let me start off by saying this. Let me, let me, let me try to be, girl, because some of y'all act like I don't be fair. Whatever. Couples fight, right? I'm not going to sit here and pretend that that's not the truth for a lot of couples. Couples fight. And sometimes when you're family and friends, um, you really don't know when to step in because you know that this is what these motherfuckers do. Girl, they're going to fight today. And girl, they're going to be back together tomorrow. And girl, she's going to be having another baby in about nine months. So it's like some couples do fight. I'm sure some of y'all fight y'all boyfriends or husbands or girlfriends, even if it's gay or straight. Couples fight like it's nothing and will still love on each other like, girl, they Barack, like they Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. So this very could, this could be one of those situations. Let me drink some of this coffee, y'all. Hold up. This could be a situation um, where Quavo and Sweetie are that couple that just likes to fight. <laughs> Hello? However, I'm going to get into Sweetie ass. Yeah, I got some for Sweetie. Yeah, I got some for Sweetie too. Show sure do. What y'all not going to do is sit here and try to act like Quavo didn't put his hands on that girl. Now, yes, we saw Sweetie swing at Quavo, but can you blame her? Because more than likely, she knew what was about to ensue after that swing. Y'all not going to sit here trying to convince me that Quavo didn't put his hands on that girl. Let me ask you an honest question. If I slung your ass into an elevator, what would your husband or boyfriend do? 
If a man swung your goddamn daughter into an elevator, what would your husband or boyfriend do to that man? Or what would you want to do to that man? So don't sit and try to act like what Quavo did was right because you know it was wrong. This is no different. No, I don't want to go backwards, but this is no different than how I felt about Monique and Candace when y'all swore up and down when somebody says, drag me, the next step is to drag me. But girl, when Miss Wanda told Martell, what you going to do? What you going to do? Hit me? You going to hit me, Martell? She said something like that. So I guess Martell should have reached back and snapped the shit out of her ass. Because when somebody say, what you going to do, drag me, you're supposed to drag them. When somebody say, what you going to do, hit me, hit me. So Martell should have hit Miss Wanda like Monique hit Candace. Anyways, I just wanted to just draw those parallels and show y'all that girl, a lot of y'all was on some fuck shit. But it's not right. It's not right. And I don't give a good goddamn what nobody has to say. It's not right. And y'all know it's not right. I saw so many people online already. Oh, he didn't put his hands on her. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Let me sling your ass into an elevator. Let me get my big 260 ass up and sling your ass into an elevator and see what would you do about it or what would your husband have to say. That is a hit. Y'all want to defend these trifling, sorry-ass men so goddamn bad that y'all will get on the goddamn internet, public profile and all, and defend someone who has clearly put his hands on a woman. Y'all can call Rodney a lot of things, and some of them may be true, but bitch, you'll never call me a woman. Bitch, I have never, first of all, I've never gotten into a physical altercation. Second of all, I would never put my hands on a woman. Bitch, I know too many girls and got too many female cousins that will whoop your ass for me. Hello? Bitch, you'll be walking to your car and two bitches will jump out the goddamn bushes and wear your ass out. And I'll be sitting in the car watching while you get your ass monkey stone. It looked like she was trying to leave and he didn't want her to leave. That's what it looked like to me. Of course, we don't know because it's only like a minute clip. Again, I think that more information will come out in the next girl, the next day, girl, the next few hours. Hold on, because I'm sure all the goddamn the, the, the entertainment people own it now, girl. It's disturbing. And the fact that that girl sat on that floor in the elevator, because the elevator door opened, you saw somebody, I guess, waiting for the elevator. And Quavo, of, of course, nervously started moving around, trying to move the bags out the way, turned around. And then they get to, I guess, the floor that they're going to. Um, girl, that must be a big, they must live in a big high, they must live in a high, high rise. Because for that, for that footage to have been like, for them to be on the elevator for the for the for the amount of time the, the amount of time that they were, they must live in a high high rise or something, or a high condo or something. Anyways, um, but the elevator door opens and Sweetie is just sitting on the ground and he she gets up. This nigga didn't try to help her get up for nothing. But this goes to show Sweetie, <laughs> girl, like like Erica and everybody else been saying, y'all hoes be thinking y'all exempt from the fuck shit. Y'all bitches ain't exempt. Y'all ain't exempt. <laughs> Girl, they're going to treat y'all just like they treat everybody else. And sweetie, your ass been walking around here thinking because you got some Birkin bags and a nigga paying your bill. But truth of the matter is a motherfucker whooping up on your ass. That's the part your ass ain't telling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, last time I got into your ass because you walked around here telling the girls that they ain't got no Birkin bag if they ain't getting their bills paid. But girl, this nigga was cheating on you. Not only cheating on you, but slinging your ass all up and through elevators. And you want to motherfucking try to come down to the goddamn World Wide Web and try to have the girls co convinced that you got a fucking Barack Obama and qualities that's kept you got Ike on your goddamn left side. Sweetie, you ain't about shit either. I here trying to trick these girls into believing that what you got is what it, is what it is, and it and it ain't and it ain't shit. Now we done got the footage of Quavo whooping on your ass and swinging you into a goddamn elevator. I know y'all don't like when I talk like this, but it is what it is, girl. Now we got the footage of Quavo whooping on your ass. And now, girl, 
But just a couple of months ago, girl, he was your Prince Charming who bought you Birkin bags and paid your bills. I'm just saying. It's a mess. This is a mess, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Again, and this and this is a real gag, y'all. Like, this is the part that, that really is that I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. We're black people. We're black people. We only think that physical violence or domestic violence is the bitch got to literally end up in the hospital. <laughs> Has to hit, end up in the hospital for it to matter. Has to end up in the hospital. Damn near in ICU. Girl, one breath away from going home to glory for people to for people for people to feel like she was in a domestic violence relationship. The simple fact that people are online saying that this is not domestic violence and that Quavo did not put her hands put his hands on her is disturbing. Yes, it is. It is. Y'all need to get out of that if a bitch ain't got no scars on her face or her teeth still in still intact, then it don't count as domestic violence. She good. She that ain't no domestic violence. He swung her. He swung the bag. He swung the bag. Maybe I'm wrong. I saw him swing her. And then grab the bag after she hit the fucking wall. That's what I saw. But I could be wrong. <sighs> One thing about it. Two things for show, sure. y'all gonna defend a no good ass nigga. That's one thing I know about y'all. Not y'all, not y'all, some of y'all, but not all of y'all. One thing I can count on for the world to do, especially niggas and some 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 of the bitches, is defend a no good nigga. Girl, Quavo ain't shit. Quavo ain't shit. I'm sorry, he ain't shit. You really think that Offset, Quavo, and Takeoff are cool and Quavo is a good guy? I don't know nothing about no Takeoff. Is it Takeoff? I don't know that boy's name. Bitch, it's more, than likely, it's more than likely a good chance that if, girl, I hate to be this person, it's not the case all the time. Let me just make sure I say that. Bitch, girl, they are literally birds of a feather flock together. You think Quavo, you think, uh, what's it, what's, what's Offset? Offset. You think Offset and an ain't shit nigga, but girl, all of a sudden, girl, Quavo is Barack Obama? Girl, niggas who act like Barack and Prince Harry don't hang around niggas like Offset and Quavo. They just don't. <laughs> Shout out to y'all acting like girl getting swung to an elevator ain't physical, ain't domestic violence, but girl, it is what it is. But I will talk about this later because like I said, this just happened. So I'm sure that more information will start to roll out throughout the day, you know, for the next few days more than likely. All right, bye y'all.